And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo. Good evening, Southeast Idaho and Western Wyoming. We do have a winter weather advisory continuing until 6 p.m. tomorrow, where we can expect the Jackson Hole area, Big Mountain Range, also Island Park. We have, of course, parts of the Lemhi Highlands continuing to see this, and also the Sawtooth Range. Snowfall can amount amounts can last from 3 to 12 inches and really it will affect the higher elevations and also we do have a winter storm warning for the Teton Range, Grove Mountain Range and parts of the Yellowstone National Park and this is going to be something that can possibly lead to some heavier snow. I know that looking at webcams the Teton Pass at the moment is seeing quite a bit of a whiteout, just basically whiteout condition so far. We also saw on the weather outside the weather window Jackson was a bit on the heavier side with snow. So far we are starting to see it slow down a bit. There is going to be a bit of a lull in the overnight hours but that doesn't mean the storm is just gone yet. Our temperatures still remain around the freezing mark where Take a look at Pocatello. We're still at 35, 37 in Blackfoot and American Falls, 36 in Idaho Falls. So the Snake River Plain is still above freezing. So the snow and rain that we're seeing does will not really stick around. Also, that rain helps just wash away the snow. But for areas like Jackson, where snow is sticking, 32 degrees will be our high. Well, sorry, not high, but our temperature at the moment, 30 degrees over in Stanley, another area that is under the winter weather advisory that can see snow accumulations ranging around five to six inches on my prediction. What we can expect to see for our lows tonight, temperatures will remain a bit on the mild side. We'll see temperatures a bit below freezing in western Wyoming and temperatures in the mid 30s for the Snake River Plain. The Central Mountains will also have a mix of 30s. But taking a look at our future tracker, we can see that our temperatures will influence what we will see as precipitation. Snow is going to be towards certain el higher elevations while over towards the Snake River Plain. We can expect to see some rain, some snow mixing in at times. By, of course, the overnight hours, it continues slowly, starts to die out a little, but comes back, of course, towards the morning commute. If you're up this early, and we'll continue to see that there is the possibility of some snow for the Southeast Highlands, also for Western Wyoming. Parts of the Sawtooths also still see some snow for tomorrow. And by the time we get to lunch, we can expect to see a bit more rain. And there's a possibility of some now lightning continuing with this. And by the time we get to the overnight hours, it will be quite a bit more on the rainy side. And for tomorrow, we can expect temperatures pretty mild once again. And for your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast, there is the possibility of some lightning with the rain that we will see possibly coming around. Temperatures will be 55 degrees, so quite a nice day continuing for us. 